A groundbreaking investigation by the Coma 4 Problem Solvers reveals toxic, life-threatening bacteria, MRSA, in some pork you might buy at grocery stores. This drug-resistant bacteria is already responsible for more deaths in this country than AIDS. Using the power of our sister stations across the region, Problem Solver Tracy Vetter spearheaded our investigation and joins us now with the results. Tracy? Well, Mary, Dan, the thing about the MRSA bacteria that makes it so potentially dangerous is that MRSA can make you sick just by touching it. In spite of the risk, the U.S. Department of Agriculture has resisted testing store-bought pork for this deadly aggressive bacteria. So we decided to do it ourselves. No matter how you prepare it, the popular wisdom goes that as long as you cook meat thoroughly, it won't make you sick. But popular wisdom doesn't take into account MRSA, an aggressive, even deadly bacteria. MRSA is uh, a very different kind of bacteria. MRSA is an antibiotic-resistant type of staph. Last winter, it killed healthy 20-year-old Chris Faden when he contracted MRSA-related pneumonia. We just uh, thought that um, they could conquer this with modern medicine. Three years ago, Brian Boutet just scraped his hip. His doctor prescribed antibiotics, but the flesh-eating disease didn't respond. I was running out of time. I was on my last hour. Of, I, was, I was dying. Yeah. I was literally dying. Twenty surgeries later, doctors saved Boutet's life, but he lost his leg. Neither Boutet nor Chris Faden's parents know how they were infected. They're just living with the results. I didn't know how serious it would be. MRSA now kills more people every year than AIDS. While we can't say these injuries were caused by contact with pork, our Como 4 problem solver investigation has discovered the deadly bacteria in ground pork sold in grocery stores. It all starts with just one bacteria which we, you cannot see with your naked eye. A few months ago, a University of Iowa study showed a virulent strain of MRSA in pigs. But the problem solvers have learned no one from the USDA is testing. As far as I'm concerned, USDA and FDA are kind of asleep at the wheel on this one. So the problem solvers, along with our network of stations in four western states, undertook our own testing. At stores around the region, we bought 97 packages divided between ground pork and pork cutlets. All the samples went to IEH Laboratories, a USDA-certified lab in Seattle. The scientists followed standard testing protocols and found MRSA in three different samples. All were ground pork. We found the positives in three of the four states where we tested. The, the interesting situation here is that now we have something that you would worry about in terms of wound infections in, in foods. MRSA, like most other bacteria, will die if it's thoroughly cooked. But unlike E. coli or salmonella, MRSA causes skin infections. So just touching raw pork that has the bacteria could be a problem, according to biologist Dr. Rebecca Goldberg. So that raises the possibility that simply handling meat could potentially give you a very nasty infection. The problem solvers have learned Canada and several European countries already test pork in grocery stores for MRSA. I contacted the USDA and despite the potential risk, they have no plans for any testing. It really disturbs me. I mean, we have enough things out there that we can catch. We don't need any help from other sources. And if the government's not going to be able to step up and help us out, well, what's the point? The National Pork Board just began testing pork in retail markets. Their study won't be finished for another six months, but their preliminary results are similar to ours, about a 3% positive rate for MRSA. The Pork Board tells me MRSA is a priority, but they don't know if it's a risk to you. A government should not ignore this information. I hope that it'll be a bit of a wake-up call. Brian Boutte hopes the wake-up call makes a difference. I would like them to, to, to think about the people that are possibly going to catch this disease and if they are able to prevent those people from catching it, then they save one more life. I also contacted both the Centers for Disease Control and the FDA. The FDA tells me they have started a small pilot study of raw meat in Washington, D.C., but don't have any results yet and don't know when the study will be finished. Everyone we've spoken with stresses that while this information is important, 
It shouldn't cause anyone to panic or not want to buy pork. Just make sure to use safe food handling practices with one additional precaution. Try not to handle raw pork if you have cuts or abrasions on your hands. Good to know. Frightening, though. Thank you very much, Tracy.